Ain't talking real hot, don't want smoke when I tap it. Crazy and hold what they do for the clout. All of the yapping, won't see what you bout. Don't go to the line when you run in your mouth with a person that, 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 not spit it out. Got a lot on my mind, so I let it all bottom. Monkey see, monkey do. Name me these hollows. Don't want shot at you, the other will follow. My name in your mouth, and you watch how you swallow. That can you real, but you totally will funny. Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you're an OZ, a buddy giddy, welcome back. Before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on me and my baby on all our social medias, which will be right here. Um, so you guys can see us update. Um, so today's video is gonna be a little personal. I said in the last video that I was going through some stuff and I was gonna explain to you guys why. Um, it's hard for me to explain, but I'm going to try. So I've been in a very depressed state these past two weeks. Um, when my baby left to go to South Jersey, um, it got a little weird because I had nobody. It was just me and my dad, my brother's best friend who lived here with his girlfriend. They were gone too. Um, when everyone came back. Um, a few, well, they left a few days before, but when everybody came back on Monday, um, everybody started talking about how they were moving out and they were starting their own life and everything. And I had wanted to record that week from Monday to at least Thursday, but that didn't happen. I started feeling like very alone and like nobody was there for me um I might cry um when I was younger I was diagnosed with depression and PTSD when I was about 10 or 11 um when my grandma died I got diagnosed with PTSD and at the same time the depression and when I found out that everyone was moving it kind of like I was starting to go through a midlife crisis I'm gonna be 25 on August 4th in a month is some change and I still live with my mom you know for me that is hard even though I am the youngest and the youngest usually is the last one to move out under normal circumstances. It was hard because I had moved out and then I had to come back. I didn't have another choice. That's another that I don't really want to get into right now. Um, but I came back and then on my brother's birthday, when he turned 26, something happened and his girlfriend moved out with their son first and then he left and behind him was his best friend who I consider like a brother. He then left after him and then his other friend and girlfriend who I had become very close with, they left as well. And like that, that depression and that PTSD, it kind of started chipping that day. I found out that they were leaving, and it hurt, and now it's like everyone's gone, and I'm here alone. I know that people move on, and I'm sorry I had to go off camera. I needed a minute to get myself together um, because I was crying so bad I, I shut the camera off. But yeah, I was diagnosed and when all that happened, it was like everything was basically thrown at me in my face and it was coming back up, stirring back up everything. and. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the type of person that does it, you know, congratulate people, I guess you could say. I wish them the best. I know that they did it because it was their time. They're that age. 
And I feel like them doing it now that I've seen it and I've realized it and I've actually seen everybody go on with their lives because it was like for years everybody was like, oh, I'm moving out, I'm moving out, I'm moving out. And then they never did. And to actually them do it makes me strive for that more, makes me, sorry, want that more and try harder to get that so that I can have what they have. Um, At the same time, it was a little bit of jealousy. It's like they have something that I don't, that, that I want and that I wish I had. Um, but I kind of got over that. The more of my depression came with the fact that I'm now here alone. Now it's just like me, my baby, my mom, and my dad. So that's kind of what I've been going through as far as my posting the past few weeks. And sometimes when I don't post, that's kind of what's going on. Either the PTSD is kicking in or the depression and I just don't want you guys to think that I just stopped recording just because I don't know what to do it's mainly that I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to me and for understanding if you understand if you don't understand then you don't and I get that as well But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you haven't already, you like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my other videos, which pop up somewhere during this video and after this video. Make sure you guys go follow me and my baby on all our social medias. And I will see you guys in the next video. And it's time to sign. Bye. Talking real, I don't want smoke when I tap it. Crazy and hold what they do for the clout. All of the yap, I want to see what you bout. Don't go to line when you run in your mouth with a person that, 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 not spit it out. Got a lot on my mind, so I let it all bottom. I can see my key do. Name me these hollows. Don't one shot at you, the other will follow. My name in your mouth, and you watch how you swallow. Jackie, you real, but you tell